Hello everybody and welcome to another vlog. What is it? Come. Okay, not interested. As you probably know by now from the title of this video and also from the very familiar surroundings, we are in London and it's kind of giving very much London weather. So throughout this first clip, you'll probably see me like this, which is like good light because the sun just went behind the cloud. But then in probably like 10 to 15 seconds, it'll be like full blasting on my face because... <sighs> Yeah, it's London and the weather is very unpredictable and you never know what to expect and you get like all four seasons in one day, but we love it. It's honestly one of my absolute favorite cities in the whole entire world and I'm so grateful and I forever will be grateful to London for all the opportunities that it gave me and everything it helped me with in my career, in my life, in general. So that's one thing I would like to start this video with very, very much gratitude towards this beautiful city. That being said, I know that like, London Fashion Week is probably not the most exciting of all big four, right? In fact, it's probably the quite exact opposite. But I still don't feel comfortable skipping on the city that really gave me so much. So that's it. We're in London. We're doing Fashion Week as always. And we're kind of doing the same old, you know, all the good stuff that there is really in the city before we proceed to Milan. I have to say that the week looks really nice. I started this day by with getting my hair done. So Izzy came from Larry King salon and we did some magic with the new Dyson that I will show you very soon. Just like a very easy glam, sort of like almost straight, but a little bit glamorous blowout. I am just really enjoying here at the time. And we're today using the opportunity to shoot some projects, have some fittings and some events. But in general, the shows are tomorrow, the day after tomorrow. And then we're heading to... <laughs> Milan. <laughs> On that note, we'll show you a little bit more in a second. Okay, so this setup you've probably pretty much seen in New York. I'll just give you another, yes, another glimpse of it all. A few pairs of boots, loafers. These are actually new shoes that I got. I've been trying to get these everywhere and I got them in New York because they were always like sold out or unavailable in Europe. Let me show them to you. Ooh, okay, it's like kind of a low heel, but I really like what they are all about in front. If you you can see if I can find a pair available somewhere I'll link them below and a new pair of Alaya ballerinas they're fully like crystallized and embellished the type of like a mesh and I really 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 love them I'll also link them below in case you guys want to check them out accessories section is pretty uh, busy as you can see so we have some belts some sunglasses and a lot of bags actually I just realized I packed like almost like way too many bags is there such a thing. There's the new Magda Butron one that you've seen in New York Fashion Week vlog. This gorgeous bag from the road that you haven't seen. It doesn't look like much right now, but you will see me style it and wear it. And I've already worn it once in New York and I really love it. I'll also link it below. It's also part of a special project that we're doing while we're here in London. Now I have a lot of deliveries as well. Something here also from Jimmy Choo and something here from Space and K that I want to show you now. I mean, I told you the light is definitely not working in my favor but we're gonna try so yesterday i stopped by at space and k here on regent street because well for several reasons first of all i flew yeah this light no 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 no, no i can't okay guys i tried to make this light work so i don't know you're gonna have to tell me what you think but literally the moment i said everything up the sun came out and messed like this is Um, anyway, so yesterday we stopped by at the Space and K on Regent Street. of several reasons. One of the reasons was I wanted some skincare. The reason is after like New York Fashion Week, I, you know, like I flew, I arrived and I was like, my skin needs like a little something. Oh, also like I'm not wearing my engagement ring as you can see for the moment, but don't worry. It's just because I was shooting something. I wanted to show you what I got at Space and K. They honestly have the most incredible, incredible, incredible selection of products. Like all the brands that I like, like Hourglass, Rose Inc, NARS. You see the light is now again back. 
This is the ongoing theme. It's like a lunar park. It's like you never know what to expect from this uh, light situation. So first thing that I got was this Omoravica deep cleansing mask. I've used this product before. It's sort of like a clay mask and I really need it after, well, during a busy month because the breakouts can be intense. It is a clay mask that looks like this and I very much love it. I am very, very jealous because Alfie seems to be giving everybody more attention than me. Yes! Why is that? Why is that? Why? Okay. Anyway, obsessed with this product. I will link everything that I show you below. I just wanted to show you what I picked. This is not going to be a surprise. This is my ultimate, ultimate go-to. What will happen now? The light is just killing me. This is the Sarah Chapman Skinnesis Ultimate Cleanse. Guys, I cannot live without this product. I remove my makeup every night with this product. I think I go through them quite, quite a lot. My only downside with this product is that I never know how much I have. So when I'm packing and when I'm traveling, I don't know if I need a new pack or something, you know. Totally Vino Pure Serum Salicylic Acid Anti-Imperfection Blemish Control Salicylic Acid Serum. Salicylic acid for me works the best when it comes to blemishes or breakouts or any kind of like on the go when I'm wearing a lot of makeup every day, stressful times, not drinking enough water, not eating the best because I'm always on the go and it's really, really, really helping. I've used this product also before, so I wanted a top up. I've spoken about it. They've just changed the packaging. So when I had it, it was in a clear glass bottle. Now it's in a more of an opaque one from my favorite products as well i got a new by rita balda freak they have like really great fragrances at space and k lately like you guys sometimes ask me like is this integration sponsored this integration is not sponsored it's just because like i'm speaking very very fondly of something it doesn't mean that it's sponsored i'm genuinely loving this and this fragrance if you know filippo and my love story then you probably know that when we met within the first 24 hours of meeting he told me if i guess what fragrance you're wearing will you marry me and i said yes Yes. and it was Valde Freak and he guessed it. So I guess we've been engaged for four years now, basically. Let's see what else. That's all from the products that I have used before and I really, really love. And I'm gonna show you what products I got that I have never used before. Dr. Dennis Gross Texture Renewal Serum. It says, it's like a retinol and ferulic acid. It looks like this. I'm gonna start using it tonight and I cannot wait because I really like Dr. Dennis Gross. I have quite a few products from the brand. I got this super nice natural face oil from Emma Lucian. I actually really like this brand. I have few products from Emma Lucian and this is it. What really got me into this is that it says vitamin A. So yeah, let's see what it smells like. I've never used this before. It's kind of like a very light, it smells very like spa-like, sort of like maybe even a bit lemony type of vibe, but fresh and nice. I don't know how many times light is going to change you in this video, but we can literally do nothing about it. We have Kate Somerville Mega C 30% vitamin C brightening facial it's like a face mask and i think i'll definitely need this i'm gonna do this face mask tonight it's in this yellow tube and it says you leave it on for 20 minutes and then you rinse it i'm gonna do it tonight because i quite like to do face masks before going to bed opposed to in the morning i got a candle that smells like so good it this smell actually reminds me of like some restaurants in Paris. I really love it. It's from Mr. Voss and this one is called Don Vitone. I have never had a candle from this brand before. And yeah, look at this. Gorgeous. Cannot wait. Double wick. And last two are makeup products. I actually wanted to get the new Rose Ink foundation, but then I thought I'd get this one from Rare Beauty. I got a liquid touch weightless foundation. I should have tried it on today. I'm wearing my same old. It looks like this in 210N. And then I got the Liquid Touch Brightening Concealer. This one's a bit warmer and it's in 250W, but it felt like it's gonna work together pretty well. So that's what I got from Space and K. Really so excited for this. Love it. Especially in springtime, you guys have to try the fragrance. And now we're gonna pack it all up and we're gonna get moving because we have lots of things to do and shoot today. So where do we even start first you know what i mean let's get going guys a few hours later i'm actually shooting a reel for jimmy Choo. hopefully are you gonna see it already what is this the jimmy Choo reel going live oh, 18, 12. So hopefully you would have seen it already on my Instagram, but I'm shooting these shoes. I really, really love them. 
I need them. It's like a pink and red, which is one of my favorite color block combos. Sandal, and I have a version of like navy and blue. The first ones were suede, these ones are leather. So we're doing a little transition in like here in Soho, which is packed with people. But I hope you guys are gonna like it. So I'm just changing my outfits. I put them on the bed because they're never been worn. Doing a little transition and outfit change. So if you don't see me much today, it's because we're literally just shooting, 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 creating content, filming, doing stuff, and it's not very something to show it's more like just production but that's part of the job and i love my job so i'll update you again later Well, hello guys and welcome to the first official day of London Fashion Week. I say first official because it means that we're doing shows today. So it is what it is. It's a very kind of busy Saturday in London. Let me just show you our view for a second. I mean, yeah, this is obviously, as you guys can see, probably one of the most beautiful views I've ever had. It's Piccadilly Circus looking, it's just like, you know, when you watch it, it looks like Shibuya crossing how many people cross the road actually and we have Izzy here she's setting up for everything that we need today so we have two shows we're getting ready for today David Coleman and Richard Quinn both of whom I really 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 like and we have like really fancy extra looks for both which is fine because they're like 5 p.m and 7 p.m we were shooting some projects for Dyson this morning so that was really really nice and kind of like didn't really vlog but from now on the show starts so it's actually 2 p.m I haven't had any breakfast so i'm gonna eat something have a fabulous hairstyle and get ready for the shows so let's get going okay guys the hair is done and i really really love it look it's very okay let's see if you can see it but very sleek very beautiful i don't know if i properly told you but izzy cook from larry king salon we work together every london fashion week she does such an incredible incredible work plus she's lovely so pleasant to be around and also she will be doing my hair tomorrow morning i believe before uh jw and emilia wixted i also managed more or less to do my makeup just like a few little touch-ups and i'm done because in all honesty i'll tell you now what i'm missing so okay so what i've done is today i actually did just my eyebrows this morning when i woke up and my lip liner that's all what i've done but then i washed my hair for the projects that we were doing so eyebrows they're just like not really giving right now if you see what i mean but if i now remove it i'd have to remove all the makeup and honestly there's no time to do it all now if that makes sense so yesterday the skincare that i've shown you i used i used the vitamin c mask and i really love it i love how it's given life to my skin without actually i don't know like stripping it off i'm gonna use a little bit to conceal this is the kosas concealer i still haven't tried the rare beauty one just yet but i will maybe for tomorrow's makeup just a bit of touch of light you know here and here i honestly am loving this new shower to her lip liner that i've used it's icon baby and the lipstick because even when you i've just eaten porridge while i was getting my hair done i don't know if you clock that but even if you actually remove like if the, you kind of eat the lipstick you still have those little pigments and particles on the lips which i really am loving now i have no idea what that lipstick is by the way i'm just gonna do then a touch of this summer fridays lip oil this is in shade blush dreams i think obviously still pretty obsessed with my books on as well i need a touch of my hourglass snake palette because the evening shows you know we need a bit extra look needs to be a bit extra because it's all both of my looks are very embellished and looking like popping they're popping 
that's the right word i love this chanel blush this one you need the tiniest little amount because the shade is intense coral it's very intense when i say the tiniest little amount like guys you know even that is too much because it's so pigmented okay i'm gonna remove everything off and just blend this in and blend this in look how pigmented and i like it a bit here as well done now a bit of mattifying situation here we go this is a new prada brush from prada beauty by the way they're so like heavy in the hand beautiful i just received like a beautiful pr package and there was like a whole brush kit inside and i am like obsessed that and now my cosas how's that looking i'm happy okay guys i just filmed for tiktok the david coma look which is this this beautiful sequin dress that is like almost floor length ferragamo shoes will show you also as i'm around the show ran to other stories well not me but you know we ran to other stories got the gloves that go really well with the look i don't have many jackets but this one could work with the look especially because with the gloves this is really giving and then look at this yeah i think this is kind of giving more fashion vibes you know what i mean now we're gonna take a picture of this look and we have to go to david coma okay guys we are currently stuck in london traffic i have to say one thing that london traffic can be really really lethal sometimes especially on weekends well yeah i think so but like tomorrow morning sunday morning is gonna be the best because that's when you feel like you're flying arriving everywhere and it's really good because we have like sunday morning shows so that's gonna be perfection currently i mean it says like we're arriving all on time well just like one minute too late but i think we're gonna hopefully make it i'm not worried about when you like sometimes during fashion week when you google for example where you're arriving it says like 15 minutes or 20 minutes but in fashion week traffic like usually when you're arriving at the venue add like 10 to 15 minutes on that because it gets crazy luckily or unfortunately i'm not really sure it depends how you're looking at it shows are usually running late so we always just make sure that we want to arrive early or on time to kind of have that peace of mind you know what i mean so yeah i've shown you kind of my look we'll show you as well as we're arriving we're going to david coma first then we're going to richard quinn right after then i might go off at dinner we'll see how i feel jet lag situation is okay like if i'm really honest with you i have to say that like i could really skip london fashion week in between new york and milan technically i could but i just really like like i mean jw anderson is also like one of my favorite shows like and designers i think it's one of the biggest geniuses currently in fashion industry i don't want to skip i kind of feel like i owe it to london i said that before so that's what we're doing now let's see what david Comas prepared for us i really really love his collections i love that he is from georgia he kind of feels sort of closer to home if that makes sense as well and he's such a nice guy so always here to support him Guys, so we made it to the venue. It's really dark. I can see nothing besides our light. Hopefully you can see something. I took off the jacket because we did a bit of photo call, found my seat and yeah, I think, um, well, it's not really about to start to be honest, but you know, I was worried about making it on time. So I just want to sit, enjoy, and then I'll feel all composed and peaceful. You know what I mean? Lina, I'm sorry, I don't know where to look. I know. It's very beautiful. Thank you, babe. There's nothing I love more than a beautiful woman, you know? I I love to see a beautiful woman. Same, that's why I'm so happy sitting uh, next to you, babe. And you know what? You look like the hair, you styled it so well. You, you're a uh, proof that a woman can have a little bit of cleavage of and classy and chic. <laughs> you know? And curves. <laughs> love because it. that's that's always my problem, to be honest. Like, I don't really fit in the sample size. That's why they come out quite a lot. I think this is perfection. Yeah, you think It looks right? beautiful. I'm sorry, I, I don't know if this is gonna seem like I'm hitting on you right now, but you know, 
It is what it is. <laughs> have to state the obvious. What are you excited to see during London Fashion Week? Because we know that London is a bit of a exactly. underdog. It is. Unfortunately, it's a bit of an underdog. I love it very much because I think there's a lot of like smaller designers as well that probably not the whole wild world has heard of from already. But um, I really like it. It's a very great source of inspiration. I agree. And it's very creative. Yeah, it's it like, is. It's like, you know, people are not so scared to take risks. So exactly. that's really beautiful. They just go for it. That's a good part. Yeah. And that's why we're here. Yes, that's why we're here. And we're waiting for David Coma Autumn Winter 24 to start. Okay guys, that was David Coma. I have to say, like he's, like I said with Nina, he's one of the designers that is very, very loved by the industry in general because he's just super nice. I mean, it's not that common in fashion industry. So it's not uncommon either, but you know, anyway. And obviously very talented. So as you guys saw, he kind of like, I feel like muted down a, to a little bit more like there was that like black, white, going back to a little bit of like more rock and roll, some leather and some feathers. And I really, really like this collection. I think I really loved particularly look number two. That dress was gorgeous, beautiful, loved it. And yeah, it's kind of going, everything is going a little bit more muted down. Not sure what you guys think in general this season a lot more also like i mean we are talking about autumn winter right but a lot less color for sure so if you think that we're all going a bit more neutral the crescendo it's still like it's still going there you know we still haven't reached the peak so that's that now we're gonna quickly change and heading to richard quinn okay guys not that long later literally like 15 minutes later i've changed and we didn't have time to go back to the hotel and again to the venue so we had the look with us this is the outfit richard quinn had to tow i want to say but that's not really true because the gloves are still the same ones from and other stories this is a ferragamo bag i have ferragamo shoes and the makeup and the hair is still the same i really love richard quinn i think like he does incredible wedding dresses as well just saying you know girl has to know her stuff look how beautiful and intricate is this all of this i love a lot <laughs> thank you thank you london is always like a special city that's one thing you have to admit especially on a saturday night but it's okay we love people who are happy also you know enjoying their life so this is it a little kind of like a satin silk bow beautiful beautiful detailing big shoulders gorgeous dress so that's it we're actually let's see the show is in 15 minutes so we're a little bit early but we're gonna get there make a bit of an appearance and head to richard quinn let's go Okay guys, we arrived at Richard Quinn. Honestly, I have to say he always does the most beautiful venue. It's very small, it's cozy, it's just how I like it, full of fresh flowers, it smells beautiful. It's like opulent, look at this. There's gonna be some live classical music, I believe. My outfit is, I mean, insane. Someone stopped me on the street and asked me how many crystals does this dress have? Like, I didn't count, but I think many, 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 many. And that's that, I'm gonna go find my seat and get cozy and comfortable because I'm really excited to see this collection. Guys, I have to tell you one thing. When I met Filippo, and then he kind of hit on me, and he <laughs> said, oh, uh, do you want to go out for a drink? Camila and I, we walked off, and Camila said, I don't know how you're gonna get out of this one. <laughs> Can I be completely honest? Yes. Yeah. You and Filippo like had a spark from day one. You just hit it off, and I was like, this is getting really spicy. And really fast, right? And really fast. And I really walked off thinking, honestly, I don't know how I'm gonna get rid of this guy because he was really like, yeah, yeah, you know? But I was really totally. like, and I told Camila, I honestly don't know how I'm gonna get out of it. And I didn't get out of it. <laughs> Still, it's been four years. No, you were sure that he would get out of it. And you were you I was like, Sure. You like to play, you know what exactly. I mean? Exactly. So you were like, but he also likes to play. So like he was getting I really think he was like still playing. playing. Yeah. Probably. <laughs> because like it's so true, Camila, you got me so spot on because I'm very playful. Very and I wanted playful. to kind of... You know what I remember? I told you, you were playing with fire. That's yes, what I exactly. told you. Exactly. You were like, Tamara, you're, you're playing with fire. I said, you're playing with fire. And 
That's exactly what happened. You were playing with fire. Do you remember that? Yes. You need to get its methods out. I remember <laughs> like, it so well. I think you should give that speech at my wedding. Okay, I will do. Yeah, okay. yeah, 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 that's yeah. it. I give you, I give you like a nice role. You can give a speech. Come on. <laughs> okay, I said I want to be made of honor. <laughs> This girl, she shoots like straight for the stars, you know, she doesn't play. So she doesn't play. Oh, you guys look amazing. So, so do you. you. Oh, like really, like love the hair, love the dresses, love everything. Thank you. Yeah. And it's Richard Quinn, guys. What can we do? It's always amazing. Love it. Well, the show's about to start, so let's see. Guys, that was Richard Quinn. I mean, it just lets us dream. Have you seen those wedding dresses at the end? My friend uh, like wrote a note on the phone, like, do you have a wedding dress already? And showed it to me because it was just like so inspiring. I saw so many dresses, not necessarily in white also, like some of them were in black and whatever. And I thought like, this could be my wedding dress. You know what I mean? Obviously, Richard Quinn is known for the embellishments, but just like he just lets us dream. Let's leave it there. I think the most iconic image of London Fashion Week ever was Queen Elizabeth attending the show. Show. that was just insane but anyway so that's it we're gonna go take a picture quickly probably in Piccadilly Circus and then I think it's time for me to eat something because it's 8 30 I believe and all I've had today is porridge that's not okay but now I'm gonna like go crazy guys my dress is completely wet it's raining I'm freezing my hair is wet we're almost at the hotel but it's worth it because I think we took some really nice pictures we are gonna insert them now there's like literally like giant raindrops are falling on my face that's not cute but it's worth it it's for the content Good morning guys! It is officially for us the last day of London Fashion Week and we're gonna like end it with a bang because we're going to Amelia Wickstead and J.W. Anderson this morning. It was a very very busy London Fashion Week to be honest with like lots of kind of projects and shootings outside of the shows as well and I'm happy we didn't have to do more shows because honestly the weather has not been the best. But what's been the best is the hair! Izzy, what are we doing today? Uh, we're doing like a little half up, half down, all not, just... Big hair, but beachy hair. Love it. So I have no idea what it looks like. I just sit here. I do my emails, my WhatsApps, my morning coffee, you know, all that, like trying to multitask, doing my makeup as well a little bit. And as soon as we're done, gonna get dressed and we head straight to Emilia Wickstead. I realized I wanted to unbox something for you. Ignore the fact that I'm wearing a bathrobe with a t-shirt and actually jeans as well. That's another story. But we got something besides my Emilia Wickstead look. There's a note which says, we hope you enjoy these products from the Amelia Wixed Autumn Winter 2024 skincare partner Eve Lom. See you at the show. That's really nice. I feel like I was just thinking about it actually. During fashion month, my skin always needs extra care. As you guys could have seen, I got a lot of products at the beginning of this video. So when I was at Space and K, actually, I was looking at some Eve Lom products. Let's see what we got. Ooh, there's a lot. So we got rescue mask, moisture cream, renewal treatment oil. Sounds great. SPF and cleanser and I know this this is their kiss mix love it the lip balm oh there's even more at the bottom you guys honestly this is really really great thank you so much I need to get into my look now and we need to run Hair done, makeup done, everything. I took my, this bag. It's like a brownish chocolate brown, the row bag. My shoes are black, but I'm like, you know, a bit of a mix and match. I really like the combination with this beautiful green. You guys will see the outfit it's when we get out of the car. I really, really, really love it. It's very feminine, beautiful, very Emilia Wickstead, I would say. And perfect for like a 10 a.m. show on Sunday morning. If you see what I mean? Heading there now, very lucky because not raining and because I literally am wearing sandals, so 
we don't need rain ever <laughs> anyway i mean maybe not not ever but you know what i mean and that's the plan after that i have to quickly change in the car and we're heading to jw anderson so it's going to be like a bit of a run 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 kind of morning but after that it's going to be a bit more chill so that's all good Let's see how the girly is feeling this early Sunday morning. Are you ready good. for some fashions? Yes, I haven't had my coffee yet, but... What? I know, I know. <laughs> how do you even function? I don't know, I'm struggling a little bit. So it's what beautiful. do you do? Thank you so much, you always look beautiful. I, you know we're going to Milan together? Yes! I'm so excited! I love it. Okay. Tell me. Amazing. Tell I'm like, me. it is coming. What are you excited for in Milan? Even though this is London Fashion Week, you can say it. In Milan, I'm excited for Tom Ford. Yeah? Yeah. So Very. I'll see you there. Very. Do you know what your look is going to be like? Or I do you have, have no like idea. a dream look? Have you pictures already? No. Yeah, I have no idea. Day after tomorrow, I have my video. Yeah. I think you do, right? Mine's on the 21st. Okay. Same. Yeah. Well, let's see you know what you're what wearing. Else? You're wearing tartan. I love it. I love it. Thank you. Very chic. Thank you, my love. You always look very chic. Coming from you. <laughs> I mean, I'm very, like, I feel very proud of, like, us for getting up here Sunday morning. <laughs> I know, exactly. Bettina without a coffee. Yeah. And my little baby leaving him. Yeah. Anyway. Go um, take your pictures. Conclusion. Conclusion. From yesterday. We're... Babies or no babies? <laughs> I mean, with friends like you guys, definitely babies. Baby, yeah, it's amazing. You guys influence me in a good you. way. In a good way. <laughs> And that was Amelia Wick Studio, guys. It was really beautiful. I really loved some sort of like 3D applique pieces. There was this one, skirt, so, sort of like a shirt and a knit layering situation. I really liked that look. Then a very, very specific sort of like a neckline with a collar and it was really, really beautiful. I'll insert the picture as well. Like there are a lot of dresses. I was discussing it with my friends on the front row. Clearly, we have been discussing a lot like marriage, family, most of my friends here they have children so they've been sharing a lot of like their kind of adventures and then whenever they're like dresses coming on they're like are you thinking about your wedding dress are you thinking about your wedding dress so there's a lot of that as well and Emilia Wickster just does really really beautiful stuff so overall I would say enjoyed kind of more heavy materials and more color I wouldn't say there was a plethora of color but there was a lot more color than in most of the shows especially those kind of wintry colors like burnt orange like a kind of sagey green a little bit of pink which is not like your most kind of wintry color but you know leather gloves still burgundy present I would say and a lot of brown as well so those are the kind of three things that I have to say are a theme still for the next fall winter so if you bought like brown boots or burgundy coat this season you'll be fine next one too don't worry Okay guys, we're at JW Anderson show, ready? We're kind of trying something different here, so you're not that close to me now. But let's see what Jonathan Anderson has prepared for us. They're saying the show's about to start, so let's see. And let's see if you can even hear me from this far away. Guys, this jet lag is not a joke, but it's let's let's not even go there. So pros for sure. I mean, it's like a great gloomy day in London. You know what I mean? But it's alrighty. We just finished J W Anderson show, and one thing I have to tell you is that like every single Jonathan Anderson collection is better than the previous one. I don't know how he does it. There were a few looks that I was just like really like I need this look. There was this kind of like it's autumn winter, right? And this kind of reinterpretation of a trench coat 
made into a top like double belted sort of a really really i love actually any kind of trench dresses trench material in general and just like reinterpretation of trench coat is always beautiful a lot of knitwear and oversized coats may i say i know that we said like oversized is on its way out but i really love the over over ridiculously oversized coats and you know what i love about them i wouldn't wear like all oversized everything but like something really tight and dainty and beautiful and then like an oversized coat on top i think the mix is just perfection it gives the right balance that's the key word i think of everything the balance okay guys after show we stopped at this place called ancora 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 could be a bit of you know perfect way of like sliding into milan i don't know if you've properly seen my jw anderson outfits so i'll show it to you now very deep flange with like a little bit of a detailing here that connects the like uh, two straps i have my coffee that's not part of the outfit but you know leve sunglasses i'm wearing my valentine's day gift jw anderson bag and orange shoes that actually say w and j i mean jw you see that's that we are now gonna take some content we need to shoot two reels some story content and i really need to eat some overnight oats i'm dreaming about there's a little like tiny speck of sun coming through the clouds which i'm really really appreciating a lot so thank you london for this because genuinely i am freezing and i need to keep my immune system intact for milan and paris because we know that that's where the big names are guys 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 few things i'd like to say first of all london's really sunny and beautiful now comparing to this morning's rain let me show it to you i mean let's not exaggerate but this is like pretty sunny for london you know what i mean it's it's a very nice sunday not really morning anymore but sunday in general so as you guys probably know by now we had well you know definitely if you watched if you haven't been doing something else while this video has been playing in the background we did two shows this morning and my flight to milan is tomorrow morning at 11 a.m or something like that so we we got back we shot some like reels some content everything that i told you we needed to do we we're working on some projects because i was doing this like big takeover as well uh during one of fashion week so we've done the jobs we started like editing them etc and then i spoke to filippo and he said but baby why don't you fly home tonight then you can sleep in your own bed wake up tomorrow morning and have a day at home instead of waking up very early tomorrow morning catching that flight from Heathrow, getting home and going straight into like fittings and things you know and i was like that's actually a brilliant idea that i didn't think of so we changed my flight from tomorrow morning to this afternoon 6 30 and i'm now like rushing to finish everything that i need to finish in london before getting back to milan but i'm very happy because hopefully i got allowing i'll be sleeping in my own bed tonight which is very very nice so that's that wrapping up london fashion week very fast so that's the current view of the room looking a lot emptier some empties currently a pretty empty looking rail but we're finishing it all up okay leaving a little bit of mess behind but you know i'm trying to really leave it as tidy as possible but that's that i know that london is always a little bit of an in and out but i'm kind of grateful to it and very happy for all the incredible opportunities so that's that london we're off to the most intense and stressful milan full of you know all the best shows really can't wait for them anyway thank you london thank you guys for watching this video and i'll see you in the next one bye oh just in case you might be curious the next video might be an hermes unboxing there if you watch till the end you'll know it first anyway bye for real now bye.